This is the road to the orphanage in Cape Haitian. This is the journey to what will be a most memorable experience for members of Abundant Life Ministries International who visited Haiti on Tuesday past. The mission, take Christmas gifts to the 54 children living at this dilapidated home with crude flooring made of rock hard clay, no beds for these little ones to lay their heads, a tin roof rusted and filled with holes, a makeshift kitchen void of any semblance of warmth and the essentials we find mandatory. A school, not made of a multiplicity of buildings like we're used to, but a single room, cordoned off with cloth and sticks. And this well, marked by a tire, placed most likely as a safety from the 20-foot drop. Bishop C. Alexander Williams III, pastor of the church, led the contingent. He's standing in the kitchen, and meals are being prepared for them now. And so you, again, you can see um, the condition in which the, um, these 54 children are under. Um, by, but by the grace of God, we hope to change, change all of this and have proper facilities in place so that they can have chairs and table that they can sit around and enjoy a good meal. Um, because we have come here and have brought your presence. There was prayer. Healing. Many, many tears and joy, the joy of a group of resilient children made happy by the simplest of things, gifts and toys and love. Harold Charles and Sky King partnered with the ministry to make this expedition possible. The plan is to return with food and to finance the construction of a new orphanage for the children of Cape Haitian. Bishop announced that the church will adopt the children's shelter. Well, to me, the highlight of the trip was um, just to see how exciting the children was receiving their gifts. But most of all, when we went to the orphanage home and I saw those children there, they was happy to have us. But when I look and see the condition, how they live, it really touched my heart. I got to go back again to my children. We want to express our gratitude and thanks to um, Mr. Harold Charles and the staff of Sky King for for donating the shelter to Haiti to allow us to get on the ground and do the work and experience what we have experienced. This day I really come to the blessing that we were able to do what pleases God in this day because he have also said to us that you know we have seen strangers and we didn't take them in and we also saw the naked and we did not clothe them so we were blessed today that we were able to fulfill that for him in this day. And the question that I have is, where are our wealthy people around the world? Have they traveled to see what's going on in countries such as Haiti and all over the world? Where are the wealthy people in the Turks and Caicos Islands? Haiti is only 30 minutes away from us, and to have that in our doors and to experience that today was something that have moved my heart to challenge so many of our wealthy people right on this island. I left the night and those children are uh, going to have to sleep on that floor tonight. They're going to get up tomorrow without food. Um, and so the, the journey has just begun. see more of this phenomenal journey during Living Abundantly on WIV4 this Sunday at 3 p.m. <laughs>